Hi, good afternoon. My name is Michael and today is March 5th, 2012. And I'm just a little bit past six months when I had my injury fall and I broke my calcanus, which is the heel, and my number five metatarsal. I want to spend a little bit of time today and give you an update of how things have been going with me and how my recovery has been. But first I'm going to show you, have uh, my wife back up here a little bit and show you how I spent pretty much all of August, all of September, and most of October during my recovery. I was very fortunate to have a couch with a recliner on it, which allowed me to elevate my foot to its proper level. And I tell you, if you are unfortunate enough to have an injury like this or you need recovery like this, if there's any way you can get it in your budget, get a couch or a chair with a power recliner, it'll make things so much easier. But anyhow, I don't need the pillows anymore, so I'll get rid of those. I just wanted to show you how I did that, and I'm going to give you a little bit of an update. I'm 61 years old, and I'm retired, and my wife is also retired. On August 9th, 2011, I had a fall off of a ladder from about four or five feet high, and I broke my calcanus, which, like I said, is the heel, and my number five metatarsal. Went to the doctor, went to the orthopedic surgeon here locally. He referred me to a specialist. I ended up seeing Dr. Jeffrey Mann in Oakland, California. All that office does is deal with feet. They're specializing feet. Met with him several times, and surgery was uh, the recommended procedure. On August 23rd, I went in for an open reduction. Internal fixation is what it's called. I got a plate, five screws, and my calcaneus, and I got what I call a deck screw in my number five metatarsal. That was on August 23rd. Went back on September 2nd to have my stitches removed, more x-rays, things were going well, and they put my hard cast on. I picked a big red color, and that cast stayed on until September 23rd. I went back for another checkup. Things were going well after we had some x-rays, and it was decided to take the cast off and put on the big black boot. You that have gone through this injury know what the big black boot is. That was September 23rd. That stayed on until October 21st when I went back for a further checkup. And more x-rays, things were going very well, and the doctor had cleared me to start physical therapy the following week. He also told me, too, within the next two to three weeks, I could start from that point forward at this particular time on October 21st and start partial weight bearing. And up to the next two or three weeks, get to full weight bearing or as much as I could take and get off the crutches as soon as I could. I started physical therapy on October 24th and came up with going two days a week and that was for eight weeks and I got that extended for another eight weeks. We'll talk about that later. It took me until November 14th to be completely off the crutches and continue my physical therapy. Now, we're going to be going to physical therapy here in a minute and I'll show you the exercises that I've been going through for the past couple of months. But first, I'm going to show you my foot, show you where it's at, show you what it looks like after six months. Actually looking pretty good. I'm wearing normal shoes. All the swelling has gone down. You can see the scarring. I do get some swelling right behind the ankle and some tenderness when I do a lot of walking or a lot of exercising. But other than that, I'm wearing normal shoes. So let's go off to physical therapy and I'll show you what I do on a weekly basis. I'll see you there. Okay, here we are at physical therapy, and I'm usually here for about two hours total if I do a full day. Uh, today, I'm starting out on the table like every other day, and what they do is they will wrap my foot in a warm, moist heat pack, and this is to get my foot all warmed up and ready to go. And then after I do that foot, uh, foot warming up for a while, I'll take this elastic band, which everybody should have one of these at home. They gave me one of the exercises at home, and I'll put this around my foot, and I'll do all my pulling forward, pushing away, and rotating to the side, and I do all of that. I do that for maybe five or ten minutes, and then we go off to the exercise and start off that. I'll see you at the next one. Okay, here we are at my first exercise machine. <clears throat> and I'm using this machine to not only strengthen my legs, but to really work on getting this muscle stretched out here so I can get my heel flat against this. What I do each day is I will start with about 10 reps just to kind of get my leg warmed up, what's all warm from being wrapped. And after I do this for a while, about 10 times, I'll sit here and do this. And then what I'll do is I will always start with my uninjured foot give myself a mental image of what it is that I'm working towards. 
I drop my foot down, and what I will do is I will push back, up on my tiptoes, and then my heel down. Up on my tiptoes, and my heel down. And up on my tiptoes, to kind of get a mental image. Now I'll take my injured foot, I'll put it up in the same area, and that's what I want to do. Down, and then up on my tiptoes. And down, and then up on my tiptoes. And as you see, it's not as easy for me on this foot. But I'm getting there, and I first started here, I couldn't even begin to do this. And I do this, a count of ten, about five or six times. And while I'm doing this, I'll see you at the next one. Okay, now I'm on the elliptical machine, and this is one of my favorite machines here at uh, physical therapy. It's a great workout, aerobic-wise, great workout for the thighs, and very easy on the heel and the ankle. And you can go as fast as you want. And I do this for at least 10 minutes every day that I'm here. It gets me really warmed up. It gives me a good workout. I think if I had enough money, I'd buy one of these for the house. Uh, much better than the treadmill ever was. And then on the bicycle. We've got a few more minutes to go here. I'll see you at the next one. Okay. Now we're on the Stairmaster, which a lot of people are familiar with Stairmasters. I don't particularly like them. I like the elliptical a lot better, but this is a good workout. My physical therapist just came by and was showing me some pointers. And we're halfway back on the paddle right now, working my both my legs and working that injured foot, working it good. And I will do this for probably about 10 minutes also. Give myself a good, a good workout, a good workout. And uh, I'll see you at the next one. Okay, now we're the Stairmaster, and now we're over at the step area. When I first came here on October 24th, I spent several days, probably two weeks, just out on the tables and doing some very mild stretching. And then he brought me over to this area, and this was pure torture for me back in the first part of November. If you'll go back to my other videos that I posted, you'll see me on just this green box right here, trying to step up and over with my injured foot. And uh, they, I would pull out. And uh, you've got to do it very slowly. But now that we're uh, into March, this is March 5th, 2012, I'm on all three boxes. And uh, I come over here each day that I'm here, and I do 50 steps on these. And you do them slow and methodical to make sure that your injured foot gets a lot of bending on it. This is what it looks like. Up with the good, up with the injured, over with the good. And then back. And then back again. Watch this foot. Nice and slow. I'll put the injured. And then slowly down. One more. Up and down. And do 50 of these and we'll see you at the next one. Okay, we're all done with the steps. I did 50 of those and now we're in the back room and we're going to do some balance exercises which that's been one of the hardest things with this injury, is understanding that I lost a lot of my balance. So I have, what I have here is I have a blue, I call it kind of, kind of like a gym map that we used to use in gym. And I take that and I balance on it one foot at a time. But what I always do, like in other exercises, is I'll take my uninjured foot first and try to get a feel of what it is that I'm going for. And if you look at my ankle, you'll see how it has to move a lot in order to maintain my balance. And I can probably count up to about 60 on this if I have to. But now, once I got that feel, I'll step back off, and then I'll come back up again with my injured foot. And this is a lot more work. And the best I've been able to do with this so far is to count to about 40. And I count as, as high as I can go until I fall off, and then I take a rest and I do it again. Now, today happens to be a good day because I'm staying on here longer than I, than I normally stay on. In fact, I'm kind of proud of myself right here. But this takes, oops, this takes a lot of movement. There you go. Now, I will do this for about five minutes, but before the camera leaves, I want to show you something that I came up with the other day, kind of my own little trick here. I don't know if my physical therapist over here would approve of it, but I came up with a balance thing. On my uninjured foot first, I go down and touch the floor. 
and come back up. Not too bad on the uninjured foot. Now I'll try it on the injured foot. Uh -huh. That's the trick. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can do it. I just started doing this. <laughs> Not quite. Let me try one more. I'm going to try one more here. One more. Hang in there with me. Okay, here we go. Yeah. This is a hard one. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I'll go ahead and finish this cycle. I'll do about five minutes of these, and I'll see you at the next one. Okay, I'm all done with the, uh, the blue pad now. I'm going on to my step here. What I've done here is I've taken this exercise from another person and adopted it to myself. I'm going to step up on my uninjured foot. I'm going to make it a long step. And I'm not going to jump up on this foot. I'm going to make sure that I push off up with my injured foot and get a good flexion on it. Then I'll bring the injured foot up, tap it with my hand, reach way back, plant it on the floor, and flex it and rock back on it. Do a double step and do it again. And I'll do a, a set of 10 of these, and I'll do it for about 10 different times. This is how it works. Ready? And up. Bang. So much more school. Double step. I'm not going to grab the needles over here. I don't want to. Like I said, I'll do about 10 of these, rest for a minute, and then do 10 more. Trying to get a good workout. See you at the next one. Okay, I'm all done with the, uh, with the step stool there earlier. I didn't realize how difficult this was going to be to talk, exercise, and look at the camera and everything and explain what I'm doing. It's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Okay, starting to get a little tired now, but that's good. What I've got now is a half a ball. What this thing is, it's a ball on a flat surface. It's going to help me with my balance, and also, I've got to get on it. It can help me with my balance, and it's also going to help me with strengthening my legs and stretching all these muscles back here and flexing my foot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squat. Hold it to about a count of 10, stand back up. And I do this squat for about up to five minutes maximum. And the trick is to keep the heel flat on the ball and keep the back straight and the behind tucked in. So I gotta find the spot up on the wall, and this is what it looks like. Ready and that's a count of about ten. So I won't bore you with the rest of them, but I'll work on this for about five minutes and I'll see you at the next one. Okay, I'm all done with the balance ball, and now I'm on to my stick and a rubber band. What this rubber band does is it wraps around my uninjured foot. And it, the stick is just for balance, and I will bring the rubber band down until I have a good stretch on it, and then I'll put weight on my injured ankle here, my injured foot here, and I'll hold this for balance, and I'll do a touch across. One, two, three. Now I will touch that ten times. When I'm done with that, I'll do a quarter turn all the way around. This is what it would look like. This is facing this way now. Again, I'll go backwards. And this exercises an inch and foot on every angle. And I'll do it 10 times on each side. I'm done with that. I'll get over here and I'll do it on this side. Again, out, out, out. Finally, facing the wall here. One, two, three. Again, I would go to 10. That's one complete turn. I would do that whole turn at least once or two times if I'm feeling up to it. I count of 10 on each one. So while I'm doing these, I'll see you at the next one, okay? Hi, this is the end of part one. Go click on part two for the rest of the story.